it's no surprise that the majority of Americans have an opinion on congressional term limits and whether it should be opposed on congressional members of Congress. Currently, representatives serve a term of two years, but if re-elected, they can continue to serve. Senators can serve a term for six years and can serve so long as they are re-elected. In fact, the longest serving member of the House was Representative John Dingell, who served a total of 60 years, leaving behind a record-breaking number of years served. For the Senate, Robert C. Byrd served a total of 51 years from 1959 to 2010. Knowing this, many Americans have questioned whether term limits are a viable solution to solving many of the issues that they believe stem from the lack of congressional term limits. Those that support term limits believe that monopolization of representational power that increasingly overlooks the will of the people the longer that they stay in office as well as the lack of progress and inability to work out solutions with other members of Congress leading to legislational gridlock, and the general lack of consideration for those they represent and the distance it places between them and the people of their state. However, there is another side to this argument that suggests that term limits do more harm than good. Some of the reasons include the fact that every job has a learning curve and it takes a significant amount of time to learn the job in its entirety and be able to function effectively and gain the expertise they need to actually be proficient in their job. Second, the sponsoring of bills to pass legislation can take multiple terms before they become law, making it harder for change to happen. And finally, it may remove good lawmakers who should be in office for longer periods of time because they're actually representing the will of the people, which unfortunately and simultaneously inhibits their voice. I seem to find myself in the middle of the argument seeing the pros and cons of both sides of the debate. But for me, I believe that those term limits should be imposed but those limits should take into consideration the time needed to become an effective lawmaker. I don't want to see an individual keep their office for 50 plus years just to see that they're ineffective and they did not listen to their constituents. But even if we can come to an agreement on term limits, who is to say that these lawmakers will vote to limit their own careers and their livelihoods? This is essentially having the average American vote on how long they want to keep their job for. So of course, legislation like this is going to have a slim chance to even being passed, even if the majority of Americans want it. But these are just my thoughts and I want to hear from you. Do you you think we should have congressional term limits? Let me know in the description box below. If you liked anything I discussed today, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll put a link to those accounts in the description box below. And as always, I'm Elena V. And remember, always leave things better than how you found it. Bye.